Hi, my name is Daryl Garrett, and this is Pastor D's Thoughts. Earlier this morning, I had gone uptown and walked into a coffee shop. And as I walked in the door, was making my order, I heard a group of people on the other side of the room. They were talking quite loudly, and they were promoting gay rights. And and in the process, they were just bashing Christianity. I mean, just cruel statements being made. And I stood there and thought, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut, which for me, that's quite a challenge to keep my mouth shut in situations like that. But as I listened to them going on and on, more of the bashing Christianity than anything, it finally just rose up within me. And I walked over and, and I said, excuse me. I said, would you mind if I ask you a question? They just kind of looked at me with a blank look on their face. And I said, can I ask you, why is it you feel like it's okay to bash Christians this way? I said, but I don't hear you saying anything about Islam or about any other religion for that matter. So why Christianity? Now, I would like to say that I got an intelligent response, but I didn't. Uh, in fact, I was attacked by all of them. But one woman in particular who was very, very loud, in fact, she was screaming at this point, was telling me that she was sick and tired of Christians and that we just need to keep our mouths shut, that religion should be a private matter and that we had no right to force our agenda on anybody else and on and on and on. And I finally said, it seems funny to me that you have the right to stand in this public place and bash my religion while promoting your agenda for gay rights. I said, but you don't want to allow me to speak up. And again, I was soundly attacked for speaking out on behalf of Christ. I, I just kind of let it ride there. But I, on my drive back home, I was thinking about this. And I came to look it up just to make sure. But in Acts, the 18th chapter, Paul was facing a similar issue, whether to speak up or not. And the Lord spoke to him and said, don't be afraid. Speak out. Don't be silent, for I am with you. And I believe God would be saying the same thing to us today, not just pastors, but for all Christians, that we're living in a time where I believe it's important that Christians begin to speak out. It's not about being silent anymore. Everybody else is screaming from the rooftops their agenda, their opinion, and we need to be proclaiming, thus saith the Lord. We need to be speaking out on what is morally right and about the fact that people are making decisions that are leading our nation and leading countless millions of people down a path of destruction. Church, it's time to speak out. It's time to stand up and proudly and boldly proclaim what God's word has to say. God says, I'm with you. And it goes on to say, and no one will attack you or harm you. Now, we need that assurance in our lives. God says, if we will speak out, he will be with us, and nothing formed against us shall prosper. I just want to give you something to think about today. I hope you, like I, will learn to speak out. God bless you. Come back and see me again at Pastor D's Thoughts.